Friends, today we're taking a look at the opening verse of chapter 5 of Ephesians. This is Paul's letter to the church at Ephesus. Chapter 5, verse 1, he says, Therefore be imitators of God as beloved children. It's a short verse, but he has an awful lot to say in it. And two main things especially. I'll begin with the second part of that verse. Beloved children of God. That's who we are. Through faith in Jesus Christ, we are God's beloved, dearly loved children. Not because of anything that we have done, but because of who God is. God is one who loves us. He gave us his son Jesus to pay for our sins. God knew we couldn't do that ourselves. Jesus took our place at the cross, bearing our shame and our guilt and our sin, paying its price. He dies, he rises again three days later. The result is that we have eternal life. Jesus has conquered death. It's the season of Easter and we continue to celebrate that. So that is who we are. We are dearly loved children by God's grace. He has chosen to place his love on us. The New Testament shares something very important in light of this. John is the one who tells us that we love because God first loved us. The second part of this verse I shared with you from Ephesians 5 verse 1 tells us that we are loved, dearly loved by God. And as a result of that, John tells us, we are now those who love others. Which speaks to what Paul is describing here in the first part of Ephesians 5 verse 1. That we are to be imitators of God. That is, we are to dearly love other people. God has dearly loved us. And because God loves us, John says, we are able to love others. This God, in other words, who saved us by grace through the cross and empty tomb of Jesus, lives in us, and God's desire is to live out that love through us. We are the temples of the Holy Spirit. God dwells in you and me, and his plan for you, as his Spirit continues to work in us, is that we look and resemble more and more Jesus, our Savior, who loves us. Now, do we do this perfectly? Absolutely not. We still have a sinful flesh that contends with our new person that we are in Jesus Christ. But as the Spirit of God continues to work in us and and does this work which God began in us, we, in God's grace, by his help, continue to and increasingly resemble Jesus. Jesus who sacrificially loved other people. Jesus, who in word and in action demonstrated that people matter, that that people are dearly loved by God. And so we get to take what we have received, that is Christ's love, and we get to share it with others. That's the gist of what Paul is talking about here in these words. And God, by his Holy Spirit, helps us to do this. And so we pray, Lord, we thank you that you loved us with an amazing love, giving us Jesus, our Savior, the resurrected King. Having received that love, Lord, by your Holy Spirit, enable us to live out that love, demonstrating just how much you care for others. Let people see this in us and bring glory to you because of it. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for taking a few minutes with me today. God bless you.